Hi, this is Gideon Fiddleside, Managing Editor of PR Week. Um, as a supplement to our career guide, I'm really excited to be spending some time here with Christina Amaral, Account Coordinator at Taylor, and our reigning student of the year. Christina, how are you today? I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. Great, um, thanks for joining us today. Um, Christina just started at Taylor. She just graduated from Rutgers University. So she's in a great position to offer some advice on getting that first PR job. So can you think back to some of the lessons you learned at Rutgers University and how you've been able to apply them specifically to your job now? At the School of Communication at Rutgers University, I took a lot of writing intensive courses which I feel really equipped me for my career in PR. You know, from writing emails, like internal emails, to what you're sending to the client, you have to properly articulate yourself. And if you can't articulate yourself, it's difficult for the client to believe that you'll be able to articulate their key messages in a campaign or in a crisis scenario. We would like for you to talk a little bit about the process that you went through to get your first job at Taylor. Sure. Um, well, I was fortunate enough that after my internship, I became very close with the one of the account uh, directors that I worked with, and I also had a good relationship with the HR director. So I made sure that while I was away, you know, at school, I made sure that I kept in touch with them and shortly before graduation I connected with them and two days prior to graduation they gave a formal offer. What I would advise for students is to be really creative about getting internships. Everybody knows that you have to get an internship in order to make it in PR, mm -hmm. but you have to leverage those creative skills to get one. So for example, you know, the reason why I got this Taylor internship is because I went to a conference called Intern Fest and I heard someone talking about Taylor's strategy. And I, you know, fell in love with the agency just from the way the person was talking about it. So I thought, hey, it's not enough to just send your resume online. So I called the receptionist and I asked her who was the HR director. She gave me the name, but she wouldn't give the email. So I waited two days and then I called and said, hey, I just got off the phone with this HR person. Can I have her email? And you just have to be really creative and strategic about how you're going to get that information. If you send it to an online, you know, career forum, everyone sends it there. So what are you going to do to make your resume and your cover letter and your application stand out from everybody else? Oh, that's awesome. Is this Intern Fest, was this in New York? Is it a national event? What is that? It was in New York. Yeah, so pretty much every PR agency usually signs up for it. I remember two years back they had, I think, over 200 interns there. Uh, we all know that social media is something that incoming PR pros really have a great handle on because they grew up in it. But what are some things that senior leaders should know about incoming PR pros that maybe they don't? I would tell senior leaders that young PR professionals have a better understanding of a diversified market. So right now, um, right now millennials are the most diversified generation in history to date, in American history to date. And I think that's super important in PR because it's not enough to just attract the consumer that we have been for a while. You know, right now Hispanic marketing is on the rise and who knows what will change. And I think millennials have just a better understanding of that and are more creative with coming up with campaigns for those things. Mm -hmm. I'd also suggest that senior leaders trust millennials. Um, they're more adaptive and more open to change. And I think in this industry, that's super important. Right now, a lot of the senior leaders have stuck to practices that are more traditional, whereas millennials are now, they're constantly evolving throughout with the social media platforms and everything. So I think that is a fresh perspective that they'll take and it'll help evolve agencies as they grow. That's super advice and just more confirmation of why we chose Christine as our student of the year. And I do want to close this video by pointing out that in 2014, the 50th anniversary of the PR Week Awards, we are going to be awarding another student of the year to follow in Christina's footsteps. So check out prweekus.com for all the information on entering for the Student of the Year Award, as well as all the other PR Week Awards. And Christina, thank you so much for joining us. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in today. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks.